And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures today got up into the lower to mid 70s, but it was a little cool spot right in between from Chicago to Green Bay. The reason why there was some rainfall and that rain is going to be heading in our way and we could actually see it looking at the time lapse where we started off with sunny weather. But then as we headed into the afternoon hours, you see how these high level cirrus clouds started to fill in and this is just the precursor of what is expected to come. We've got a couple stationary fronts situated across the Midwest, one well up to our north and another one well down to our south. That one is going to gradually lift north overnight into tomorrow. So we'll be starting off with cloudy weather tomorrow and also with it the chance of a few light rain showers where it did rain today. There was radar estimations around a half inch down to the south, but elsewhere it's been pretty dry. However, this will be changing as we head into tomorrow. Here's how Skycast pans it out. Cloudy skies gradually increasing and we could even have a few light sprinkles overnight but not really holding much to the chance of heavy rain. Later tomorrow, this is at 12:15. you start to see a few scattered rain showers moving across the Fox Valley and Lake Shore ashore areas, uh, predominantly along and south of Highway 10. But later tomorrow night, that's when it really starts to increase in terms of not just the coverage, but also the intensity of the rain. And there could even be some embedded thunderstorms in this large area of precipitation that does encompass most of the viewing area. By Monday morning, that heavy batch of rainfall moves out and we will start to dry things out later on in the afternoon. So how much rain are we talking about here? Anywhere from a quarter of an inch to well in excess of an inch, maybe two. It all depends where that heavy rainfall band does set up. For tomorrow's day planner, expecting scattered rain showers for parts of our area. Normal highs should be in the mid 70s. We will be running about 10 degrees cooler than normal. So for tonight, we'll drop down to 53 southwest winds at five miles per hour. A few scattered light rain showers are possible. And then for tomorrow, we will get up to 67 with additional scattered rain showers, a southeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, rainfall continues as we head into Monday. Then we'll dry out a little bit on Tuesday. And then as we get into uh, Wednesday and Thursday, there could be an additional chance of rainfall before we do start to dry things out Friday and Saturday with high temperatures rebounding back into the lower 70s. Coming